Brave kid, Guillaume. Parmenin oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. And I held back on giving all of my cash to the Ophiri uh, rune master for this very reason. I thought there might be some kind of uh, cash sink, so I held back about 10,000 crowns and didn't pawn my sword collection off. Take it easy. Some of those third level runes really weren't all that appealing regardless, too. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights errant in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. This whole place is clearly based on, you know, Knights Errant, Arthurian legend. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around, make sure they didn't miss anything. Gotta loot the crime scene as well. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. I will send you all! Got guests. Careful. died there which reminds me I've always got to have my uh, my shield on this is my it's my go-to kidna all times blood Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Gonna dive in, make sure they didn't miss anything. up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Look at 
entered the rut. Guardsmen left this site by boat, recently, probably to transport the body somewhere. one thing underwater controls for Geralt are uh, you know kind of shady I think the best game that's ever done underwater is uh, Uncharted 4 recently Gotta get used to this new inventory system. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory, clearly. Be nice to know where they took the corpse. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen, which direction they took. We should ask there. Mysterious hooded figure. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I'd feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. I'm gonna get some Tucson gear for Roach. Once you have finished examining the corpse, 
Be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Pomrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flouted through. A watering <laughs> hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Tucson. They say her grace is called in. Welcome. Welcome. Oh! Where? With no lights safe enough. Of course we have. Here in bravery is not enough against the beast. And you believe this course? That calls for a witcher. And do we have a Gwent player in here? Trust. Could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask her, please, or we shall be here till winter. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy, hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned, if I hear the sky was red again... I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright! I bolted to town, fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were gallivanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vico Faro. I told Rossell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have defined that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. 
Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent? Let him talk. The duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codswell. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast, besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Santois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tawny grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Milton, and good luck. With a fish sock like that, you must have your pick of the ladies. What a specimen. Scared the fright of me. Well, we stole the recipe. I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your noodlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Got any gossip? Fisherman talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not eavesdrop on my clients, and I certainly don't... a different don't brand of barkeep in, uh, to in Toussaint. Show me what you got in stock. Geralt. In time there's dice poker, arm wrestling, went. Not likely to taste your famous fisherman's chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. Oh dear fellow, with a fish sock like that, you must have your pick of the ladies. He's got a Skellige deck.
spies back. I got this one in the bag. I was wrong. Must be a one-off. Message on the back, signed by a certain Count Monier. Invitation to a tournament. Interesting. Harold is famous worldwide for Gwent, so that's a tournament he's gonna join and win. Can't neglect the notice board. Interesting contract. Clerks looking for help. Could be good coin to be made. Hey ya! 
Dark scent of wheat. Slow now. Hey there. Well, it seems a little gloomy now out here. The weather's taking a turn. Sounds of a fight. Have to hurry. Ocean icons. Okay. I'm gonna quit Black Blood for this for this DLC. Plus, in anticipation of a lot of vampires, I uh, I put the venomous viper sword with all all burning. Same with my armor. All Igni. In fact, one little change I'm gonna do real quick. Is I'm gonna put Fire Stream on active. wearing this coat. In the cellar, gotta be. Attacker had no trouble knocking over the cart. Claw wounds from five separate claws spread of a small human hand. Rivermuck carried the body in his cart. save before we I'm playing on Xbox one so that's really annoying being limited on my hard saves to eight <laughs> footprints small bare feet lead deeper into the cellar fell down the stairs broke his neck boy this thing took out a lot of guards 
hurled against the wall with great force. Used this to batter down the grate. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. You. Saw you at the inn. I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. cannot let you leave. Fresh. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch, bulging with coins. Elf Guardian Florins, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. So, murderer was clearly a monster. 
but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions, no answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmerin to get me in to see the Duchess.